corners um, and obviously they can get the power down much much better on them long corners well done away we go with our next race back to trackside thanks very much neil yeah and it was a great start once again from number 34 daniel medham on the uh, phil duxbury uh, suzuki oh nigel lennox has had problems again he had problems yesterday uh, and they um eventually red flagged the race and got his bike uh, off the circuit but uh, this time he's just flagged it uh, early on so that's bad news for him so uh, 34 daniel medham straight off the superbike and on to uh, the post class machine uh, and I would suggest Brad that there wouldn't be too much horsepower difference between that Phil Duxbury bike and uh, and his super bike. No I went and had a look at that bike this morning it looks absolutely immaculate it looks like it's uh, come straight out of the crate in 1988 uh, it looks absolutely brilliant so uh, amazing and uh, Dan doing it uh, full credit uh, great ride yesterday a dominant win but uh, look at that CRC uh, uh, Macintosh frame Suzuki in uh, second place there of uh, Dennis Charlotte so this is going to be a great little two-way fight hopefully uh, Dennis can uh, run up there with him. It looks like Scotty Finlay on the uh, ZX400 in there in third place as well. So uh, our normal contenders uh, back up the front with this uh, brilliant post classics racing part of our uh, festival sort of atmosphere we've got here at uh, Mike Perry Real Estate Moto Fest. Yeah, have a look uh, further down through the field. Here's a name that everyone will recognise and that name just happens to be Grant Dalton. Uh, he is uh, racing here today. Uh, Grant's an avid uh, competitor in uh, post classic racing in all forms of motorsport actually. Ex uh, Porsche racer. Uh, uh, racing nowadays in the Central Muscle Car Group and of course uh, he's the boss at Emirates Team New Zealand so he'll be doing a racing on the water uh, when he's not here at Hampton Downs so uh, watch out for uh, adults there yeah, there in this field been up in the uh, classic Isle of Man TT there is Daniel Metham already stretching away from uh, Dennis Charlotte in second place there is the 77 in third. So it's what we saw yesterday, isn't it, at the moment? Scott Finley through in third. Then it is, uh, it is uh, Barnes that is uh, next one through. Yeah, there we go. Glenn, Glenn Conroy in fourth place as well. So uh, another good uh, ride from him at the moment, uh, fourth place. So these guys here, they're uh, heading down the back straight at the moment and uh, all to play for uh, with this post-class action. But Daniel Menham took a massive uh, win yesterday and that was probably easily the biggest winning margin we had all day, Phil. Yeah, absolutely. He just streeted them, didn't he? He was just uh, way too good. I said I'd been at the uh, 40th anniversary of the um, New Zealand uh, Motorcycle Racing Register in that classic racing at Pukekohe, and uh, on that Ken McIntosh masterpiece, um, Dennis won six out of six. Uh, early casualty is um, Doug Coots, by the look of it, on the 58. Uh, he's just come off the track. He was racing in the Superbike B class uh, today uh, down the... Uh, back of the field but um, another stalwart of post classic racing another one that regularly competes at the um, classic meetings in Australia as well in fact a few years ago Doug was the organizer of what was then known as the uh, the Barry Sheen um, classic here at Hampton Downs and that was the uh, the classic old Australian New Zealand battle uh, and I'm happy to say that the Kiwis won it the last time it was run here at Hampton so that was good down and out of turn 10. Our race leader goes, Daniel Medham, heading up the hill on a, uh, a GSXR 750 from 1988. So this would have been a World Superbike uh, spec type of ride when they were inaugural year of the World Superbikes. And uh, this is exactly why we love uh, post-classic racing. So there's the update. Uh, Daniel Medham, Dennis Charlotte, go back to Scotty Finlay in uh, third place, Glenn Conroy and uh, Nick Allison fourth and fifth with Tim Barnes and then Jacob Stroud in uh, seventh place. So uh, this is brilliant stuff all, uh, all through. Just want to come in there with an announcement, guys, and uh, thank you to uh, Veg, but uh, can, uh, welcome to Ginger Malloy here today, and uh, Ginger promoting his book. Ginger's promoting his book, so take an opportunity, first of all, to uh, see the book, uh, talk to Ginger about it, and what about getting an autographed copy today? No better opportunity than that, Ginger. I tell you what, one of our absolute legends, that word legends, we know we undervalue it at times, but uh, not when you're talking to the world of Ginger Malloy. You've got his book, you've got his story, and hey, folks, when you read it, you'll find uh, I've always thought uh, Ginger undersold himself. He's never been an IM, never been a nota. Yeah. Never been quiet. everybody to go out there, but man, has he got a story to tell of the world. And really along with Hugh Anderson, they were our two pioneers in world road racing. And you've got them both here this weekend. They've both produced books, and I'm sure... Play they'll rugby be... league together for Huntley. Really? Yeah, honestly. Yes, you told me about it the other day. Oh, there you go. Well, there we go. But anyway, uh, yes, Ginger has uh, got his book down here, right here next to our uh, Star Insurance uh, Legion. So take an opportunity to check it out. And speaking about those bikes, um, my favourite one there, actually, is, is the Robert Holden Ducati. And congratulations. Lovely to catch up with Dallas Rankin again. BMS... Uh, uh, down there, of course, 
which was British motorcycle spares. That was Dallas's uh, business. He pioneered that. And the, and the great Dick Herdeman is the man who designed and built that bike. Check it out. It is world class of its era. And the wheels had not rolled until this weekend for 25 oh, wow. years. It had been in a garage stationary under the covers. And it's come out specially for this one. So bring back some memories still on the side of the fairing rider, Robert Holden. It is beautiful. Just one of the great stories to tell, courtesy of Star Insurance. Thanks, He's guys. Dallas has got some amazing bikes, hasn't he? He's oh, got yeah. the, the Steve Roberts uh, Ducati, that, another one that's never turned a wheel because yeah. of regulations and things. That was on display at Pookie the other day. Got to have a good chat with him. There is Dennis Charlotte. One lap to go. Lonely old race for Dennis in second. He's not used to that. <laughs> Full class performance from uh, Dan Medham heading down the uh, back straight at the moment. So uh, a massive lead he's got. He heads into turn two, the Foster's Construction right-hander and uh, brilliant stuff from the uh, young man from Auckland. Oh, yeah, big time, big time. 9.4 seconds, the gap between um, Daniel and uh, Dennis. But, yeah, let's compare apples to apples. A little bit of technology difference between Dan Medham's uh, ride and also uh, the uh, Ken McIntosh um, Roger Freak replica. But you can't take away the performance from uh, Dan. He's going to streak them. What was the gap yesterday, Brad? Was it 10 seconds yesterday? Oh, it was more than that, I think. Yeah, that no, was an, uh, nearly in the 20s, I think, 20 oh, seconds. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 141, 271 is the uh, fastest man on the track. Guess who that is? Don't take a genius to work out that it's Glen Eden's Daniel Metham. Hoping to head back up to the Northern Hemisphere and uh, pursue his uh, road racing career. Um, we mentioned Jay Lawrence before. Jay, of course, normally on the uh, Carl Cox Suzuki Superbike. Uh, he's here. He's uh, another one looking to go back to the Isle of Man. There's something about the Isle of Man that draws Kiwis in their droves, not only to watch, but also to race. So many of our great motorcyclists have raced at the Isle of Man, and Jay Lawrence looking to go up and uh, race that uh, classic Suzuki like he did last year as well. Yeah, so Dan just coming up the hill now, so who's got the chequered flag uh, ready and waiting? There it is, the number 34, the Coleman's K Road Band. Yeah. Daniel Menham takes the uh, Post Classics Race 2 win here at Hampton Downs Moto Fest and uh, a brilliant dominant performance again as we uh, wait for the awesome CRC replica. And uh, there it is coming up the hill now, the number two. Again, Macintosh uh, CRC bike. That is uh, Dennis Charlotte on board that one, so another second place for Dennis. A good ride there. And there's Scotty Finlay on the small little ZX400, so uh, good stuff from uh, Scotty there on the uh, ZX4. Yeah, more than holding his own against those big um, high horsepower four-cylinder bikes, the uh, the big Suzuki's. Just want to check the difference. Uh, it was just uh, it was 19.5 seconds, so it was close. Yeah, it was to pretty seconds. close. <laughs> so a huge uh, win for Dan Medham. So there we go. We can update. Uh, Glenn Conroy finishes up in uh, fourth. Nick Allison in fifth. Jacob Stroud in sixth. Tim Barnes seventh. Neil Slater there in eighth. Mike Lind uh, got up there in. Uh, Ninth place with uh, Johan uh, Hinky there in uh, 11th. Justin Lowe got up to 10th in the end. And uh, Ken Ferguson uh, back in 12th on the 289 machine. A similar machine to uh, Daniel Benham's one that won that race. Well, very shortly we'll be doing the first of our organised pit walks uh, down here at Hampton Downs. And that will be centred around the, uh, the Legends garage, which is just down in front of our broadcast point here. Uh, so your chance. And uh, fitting, uh, as Neil said, that Ginger Malloy is here. And he certainly fits the definition of legend. So hopefully... Uh, Ginger will be in the, uh, the pit garages as well. Don't forget, if you're looking for lasting souvenirs of your time here at the uh, Mike Perra Motor Fest, uh, we'll head down to the Star Insurance's uh, Legends Garage. Out the back of the Legend Garage, they've got their own photo booth set up. Uh, they can... Um set you up with the, your legend of choice. They'll take a uh, high definition uh, quality photo. They'll not only take the photo, they'll put it in a uh, presentation folder for you and they'll give it to you and it is absolutely free. I'll tell you another legend just walking down into the pit garages there, Mr. Bill Buckley. Great to see Bill here at the, uh, the Motor Fest. Uh, got a lot on his mind at the moment with what's going on with the, the stadium shuffle in Auckland with the Auckland City Council and the uh, prospective move to uh, Collendale Park for uh, the Western Spring Speedway, but great to see Bill here. Of course, Scott is here, his son, uh, with the BSL. That is down in the Legends garage as well. And don't forget, folks, an open pit policy here at Hampton Downs. If you want to go down and see your heroes up close, be they in the pit garages or they'd be behind the uh, pit garages and the marquees, feel free to do so. It won't cost you a cent. There's no pit passes involved. No money need to change hands. And uh, you can uh, rub shoulders with some of the best, the past, the present, and future motorcycle stars of this country. It's all part of the Mike Perro Real Estate 
uh, Motorfest here at Hampton Downs. Did you join us? You've been for a long G'day, time. Good day, you've seen him. Nice to see you. This is my son, Brad. G'day, you. Oh, I'm a footsteps of a fine man, are we? <laughs>